the darling deaconess with the sweet singing voice. Do you know her? You do? Idol, huh? Meet and greets? Concerts? Wow, that's the power of music for you. Benty's voice is amazing, but all the songs he sings and the ones I'm good at are very different. I tried to learn them, but the melodies are just so complicated. There's a special drink known far and wide at Cat's Tail, but it, uh, 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 how about you go and fetch one for me? I'll be truly thankful, I promise. Venti? I'm not familiar with him. He's a bard? Oh, he must be that guy who sings tunes to entertain the drunkards. Well, then I don't like him. No, no, no. Oh, that astrologer? How should I put it? Fortune telling and my singing are the same. Both lead to you being so poor you can't even cough up the money for a drink. <laughs> you think that astrology is a cultural tradition so at least still has some value? Huh, so rude. In that case, so too is singing, so it still has its value too. Venti, the bard that sits around doing nothing all day? What's so interesting about him? Sure, I guess I can take a look. Huh, that's weird, the scry glass. It's... I can't see a thing. This wind... I can't... Open my eyes! No! My hat! Ah! My clothes! Stop! The wind's going to strip all my clothes off! Make it stop! Make it stop! All right, all right, I'll never do this again! Ah, the white-haired fellow from Wolventum, yes. Raised by wolves? Really? Huh, no wonder. That unmistakable body odor. Razor doesn't know poems, but Lupacol likes them. Have you seen that gentleman around? Huh? He's just a normal man by the name of Zhang Li now? Ugh, that must be quite the change for that old blockhead. Come with me to see him, will you? I have a vintage I dug up from Windrise that I can take as a condolence gift. Oh, uh, did he still seem strong when you saw him? How strong? Am I likely to get blown away? <sighs> it reeks of wine. That bard has just been through here, hasn't he? That drunkard is a disgrace to the arts. Oh, has he tricked you into getting drunk? You're slurring a little. Wait a moment. I'll brew a pot of sobering tea. It'll be ready in only six hours, so just wait a moment. How do you explain white chalk in black soil, or the Earth's dense crust amidst the emptiness of space? Same reason the purest soil gave birth to human life. It's an ancient power with unmistakable properties. Trying to harness it is dangerous indeed. I can't imagine what would happen if someone lost control of it in the city. <laughs> Never mind. What goes on within Mondstadt's walls is up to Mondstadt's people to deal with. <laughs> I'm not surprised you want to befriend Master Diluc. Just think of all the vintage wine he must have stored away. <laughs> huh? Uh, he doesn't let you sample it? Not even the slightest drop? Huh, well, I guess you can still appreciate the aroma. That's still better than no wine at all, right? No? Acting Grand Master Jean. Well, what do you think of her? <laughs> yes, I couldn't agree more. Conscientious, courageous, kind and considerate, too. <sighs> Reminds me of another good friend. Since Rex Lapis left us, the question of Li Yue's future has been on my mind constantly. In addition to reviewing his own past deeds, I've been researching the other Archon's modes of governance, too. Mondstadt's god is the one who baffles me the most, though. How exactly do any of his actions contribute to the longevity of Mondstadt? It's completely beyond me. Venti? So that's the name he goes by. His tunes are... Ah, forget it.